Bojo, Lauren Indigenous, Ote ka Maquiam, Squa Omish, Akomeo, Slewatath, Ejidayan, Mushkodani, Bode Wadmi, Mine Kikiopoa, Dubendigwas. My name is Lauren, and I am the Indigenous Spiritual Care Chaplain for First United. We are in week four of our journey through grief. If we think of grief as a map, we are heading over to a couple of different places today, anger and bargaining. Before we visit anger and bargaining, remember last week when we visited pain on our map of grief? From where pain is on our map of grief, nearby is also anger and bargaining. Feeling anger is the instinctual awareness of wrongdoing. Something around us is wrong, like a threat, a violation, or an injustice. Anger protects us from danger. Anger gives us the energy to defend, rebuild, and motivate. Sometimes anger can be overwhelming. We might feel stuck, like we're always angry. Maybe we are angry at feeling helpless. Grief journeys in general have a tendency to point directly at our pain and helplessness. Sometimes helplessness makes us look at some things we have tried to control that are really outside of what we can really control. To gain that perceived control back, we may visit the area of grief called bargaining. We start to make deals with ourselves or with a higher power. Bargaining with ourselves can be helpful in the short term. It helps us manage pain and can also be a motivator like anger. Sometimes when our pain and helplessness feels so big, bargaining cycles us into anger and then pain and then anger and then bargaining, another cycle. Or we may cycle bargaining pain, denial, numbness, another cycle. And sometimes bargaining cycles us into a completely other different part of our map of grief, like processing or acceptance, which we'll talk about in later weeks. I painted anger and bargaining. For colors, I used red and orange, fiery colors. For bargaining, I chose green and white. Green as a contrast to our angry colors and white as a color that softens other colors. Let's see what we can see. This painting reminds me of a landscape photo from above or how I would imagine mining for gems and jewels would look, or layers of a canyon. When I see the individual colors, they are quite vi vivid, the green and the red and the orange. The red and the orange almost look like wounds, and maybe the green seems out of place. Where the colors have mixed, they make beautiful browns. Some browns might be a little muddled, which happens with anger and bargaining. Some browns seem deeper, as though I added brown from the beginning, though I did not. I wonder what feelings you see and feel in this painting and in your own painting I wonder what you feel when you hear the words anger and bargaining. As we look at this painting, I wonder where you see your grief in this painting and 
in your painting. Thank you for joining me. As you post your artwork, don't forget to include the hashtag pour out grief and tag first united. Pomamine!